Hi guys! So for this video, I'm going to share about my life as an intern. So for those who don't know, I'm currently a medical intern at a hospital in North Avenue. So I'm not going to mention what specifically that hospital is, but yeah, that's it. So um, many people don't know what our life is. So this basically gives a glimpse of what we are, what we are doing, and kung sino nga ba kami kung bakit merong mga nakasuot lang ng hanggang dito na white may naka-uniform lang so sila yung mga clerks yung mga hanggang dito lang nasuot usually that's intern that's an intern and then yung mga ganun usually mga residents yan but so, some people don't know about the existence of postgraduate interns so Usually, they are the ones who are wearing the short sleeve, white coat. So, yun kami. And then, the other residents, they wear the long sleeve, white coat. And then, yun. So, other hospitals, interns also wear the long sleeve. Pero as for us, we are wearing the short ones. So, I'm going to talk about our duty schedule, which is actually confusing. Actually, at first, uh, when I was still a medical student, I didn't know about this three-day duty cycle. I cannot imagine how it's being done, especially when I ask endorsement from my, from my seniors and I really cannot understand about it until I'm already the one who's experiencing it. So, uh, challenging to talk about it when you are with your friends, family, also in the medical field, and... Uh, well, it's really hard to understand if you don't know what it is, right? If you don't experience it. So, it's actually a cycle. And for us to easily visualize it, I actually made this. <laughs> this. This. So, I do it. It's that confusing. To the point that I really made this <laughs> for them. Ito, explain ko na rin for everyone to know na kapag ka sinabi duty ng mga doctors or pag nakita niyo po yung mga doctors na nasa hospital, hindi po always silang duty, duty status. Well, technically, sinasabi na din po na duty since nandun sila, pero may iba't ibang status po kasi yon So, ito yon Wow, gumawa talaga ang PowerPoint. Hindi kasi gusto ko lang ng pictures. Say it's like I'm just blabbering things when I try to explain this to my mom, dad, relatives. So, ito siya. Or my friends. Yeah. So, nagulat din ako nung nakita ko to. For common people, what they usually come is per week. Pero kami kasi, we don't actually have orientation to time anymore. Ewan ko, but that's me. Sometimes I, I get confused with the dates. So, wala na ko nun. So, ito yun. Um, ayan. So, we have the three-day duty cycle. So, ayan. Three duty, duty, and from. So, ayan. So, usually, alam niyo yung nakikita. Ayan. Let's adjust. Ayan. So, first is, kunya di three duty ka. Kunyari, kunyari, kunyari. Three duty ka, 7.32. 7.30 to 5 p.m. lang yun. So, you get to go home. You get to go with your social life after hospital. And then, you have your duty. So, ito yung duty um, for interns. So, for interns like me, we only have 12 hours of duty. And then, uh, that's for duty a.m. And then, you'll be going back the next day for your from a.m. status. And that's like your ordinary day. 7.30 5 p.m. So, it depends on the departments um, kung saan po sila pupunta and also what kind of errands to do. And yan, if you're duty a.m. because we have 12 hours, so usually we divide it by 2, may a.m. and then may p.m. duty. So, kami, 7.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. But if you are already a resident, you have to go and report to work for 24 hours and actually continue to your farm status. Sa farm status, you don't get to go home immediately after a nursing. You still have stuff to do. So, ganun po kahirap mag-doctor. So, kung yung usual pagod na normal day worker ay 
8 to 5, 8 to 5 lang. So doctors, it's not like that. You still have a lot to think about. A lot of patients, a lot of patients to think about. Tapos may other things pa yan, like academically or kung sila ay na teaching hospital and meron pang other stuff like research that they have to do. So ayun yan. So after that, syempre you have to go back again to pre-duty. So in our case, kapag AM ka na nung first, the next duty would be your duty PM. So that's gonna be like 8 PM to 7.30 in the AM naman. So that will continue na to your from AM, the direction na yan. You only get to go home until 12 noon. But it depends on what department you are. So others allow you to leave. It's already indoors. So yeah. And then, and so it's gonna be like this. Wait, what happened? So it's gonna be like this. So for example, it's Monday and you're free. The next will be Tuesday, your duty AM. And then Wednesday, from kana. So yeah, and, and then your pre duty, duty PM. And then from AM kana man the next day. So you only get to see your friends or go home when you are pre and from status. So I hope you understand why other people would say no if they really couldn't come to your events like your um, occasions like weddings or reunions because even though you just say it's just work, well it's actually about the lives of the people. It's about their health. So yeah, and some would have Four day duty cycle, so means and three muna, three duty from. For example, since I'm going to be vlogging about our internship in IM, so pre duty we are in the ward, so in the ward. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So I want you to see it eh, so that you will understand. So, yeah. So, ward, um, we rotate every 10 days, so it's uh, composed of different wards. So, for example, we go to Onco Ward, then we go to Gastro Ward, Pulmo Ward. So, we have different exposures of uh, various cases. It's actually high yield and we really appreciate it because we can see, we can see the things that we just read from the books. So, ayun. So, we can also go to Oak. PD or your outpatient department so yun yung mga cases na people doesn't need to be admitted pero manage as a case of med lang naman so pwede sila umuwi ng bahay just take oral medications and then ito na yung duty and yung prom namin it's Miku and Me Too so that's gonna be the intensive unit so this is where critically ill patients Go. So, ayan po yun. So, I hope you understand. So, ayan. It's pretty so way. So, ayan. With that, I hope you understand uh, the cycle of the doctors. So, it doesn't really mean that when doctors go to the hospital and they are there. Kasi uh, iba-iba din yung ginagawa eh. This is actually done to maximize the time and then to provide continuity of care and also for the distribution of work. Kapag umuuwi at saka kapag dumarating, it's important that we endorse patient. So, ayun. So, kailangan talaga may sistema. Actually, ang hirap talaga niya intindihin at first. Kahit ako, naguluhan din ako. Kaya, ayan, pinakita ko na sa inyo. Yay! So, that's all for now.